Genius Crafter puts all his crayons in the oven and the results are incredible. If you're a parent, it's fair to assume you probably have crayons all over your house. Kids love using them to draw all sorts of imaginative pictures and fill in covering books and they come in so many fun hues. But did you know that they can be used for awesome DIY projects too? It's true, they're no longer just kids toys. Wait until you see what professional crafter Peter Brown does with his crayons. You'll be running to the craft store in no time. Any parent will tell you that kids love crayons. Crayola has made quite a name for itself by supplying children with vibrant colored wax instruments that provide budding artists with hours of fun. But professional crafter Peter Brown has a unique way to use crayons that even adults will find fascinating. Obviously, the first thing he needed for his project was crayons. Peter said the most labor intensive part of his DIY job was removing all the paper from the crayons. Pro tip, the easiest way to do it was to freeze them for a bit so that the labels would slide right off. After he removed all the labels, he set them aside on a large table where they wouldn't roll off or go missing. He was going to be inserting the crayons into an empty cake pan next, so he used a few hundred of them to fill the whole space. Next, Peter arranged the label-free crayons into his empty pan, making sure that all of them were tip side up. Also, in order to make the finished product as cool looking as possible, he grouped similar colors together. Peter then placed the cake pan into an oven and set it for 150 degrees Fahrenheit. It took close to three hours for the wax to completely solidify. He was sure to let it completely cool off before he removed it from the oven. Once the block of wax was safe to handle, Peter removed it from the oven and gave the bottom of the pan a few hard knocks so that the cube of melted crayons slid right out. The colors had all oozed together making it look awesomely vibrant. Next, Peter used a bandsaw to make all the edges of the cube a perfect 90 degrees. Although he also warned that this dangerous step should only be performed by a trained professional. Next, Peter took off the squared off cube of wax and placed it into his wood lathe, a tool that quickly spins pieces of wood around so they can easily be molded into whatever shape a worker needs. He carefully locked the mold into place. Peter turned on the wood lathe and his wax started its spin. Using various metal instruments, he slowly started shaving away portions of the crayon mold. His final product was starting to take shape, but what was it going to be? How stunning is that? You don't even need flowers to appreciate this masterpiece. Share this cool crayon vase project with your friends below.